that some of the organizers are the Gen Z's, the very young people who bore the brunt of police brutality, some of whom are still nursing wounds, some who are still in hospitals with bullets lodged in their limbs, some who lost lives and who lost limbs. They were amputated. Some who might never recover. They were disfigured. Very young Kenyans who were brave enough to stand up to an authoritarian regime, to challenge the status quo, to protest against bad laws. And we have one of the Irish statesmen, Bernard Shaw, who once said, there is no tyranny that is greater than the tyranny of bad laws. The 2023 finance bill was a bad law. The 2024 finance bill was even a worse law. This because of a system that is tone deaf, that is arrogant, that is brutal, refused to listen to its citizens. Article 10 of our constitution, the constitution we celebrate 14 years later, requires that citizens be allowed to participate in important decisions that concern them in their counties and in their country. That requirement of public participation is not a favor from the state. It is, it is actually an imperative of our constitution. But this was not honored. In spite of many Kenyans coming out to protest against the finance bills, they went ahead to pass them with devastating consequences. And right now, with bodies that are still at the city mortuary, we are told it's not just the 60 or the 75 of last year and this year. We have almost 300 Kenyans who lost their lives. So today, as we meet here to reflect on our constitutional journey, we want to say the time has come for us to defend our constitution. Albert Einstein, as you have seen the quote, the theme of this conference today, once said that indeed, the strength of our constitution lies entirely in the determination of the citizens to defend it. If you do not defend your constitution before it has been undermined and weakened, and we have a history of weakening our constitutions over time to the extent that the last constitution was actually amended and amended until Kenya was returned to a single party state. And we had the infamous section 2A inserted in our constitution. It can happen to this progressive constitution. That is why I thank the organizers of this very important uh, event to have said the theme shall be Okoanini. Okoanini. Okoa nini? Katiba. Ukiokoa katiba, utaokoa Kenya. Okoa katiba, okoa nini? Kenya. Okoa katiba, okoa nini? Kenya. I think we want to salute those who very uh, creatively came up with the theme of today. We also have one Chief Justice, Maraga, who once said, indeed, the greatness of a nation lies in its fidelity to its constitution, and adherence to the rule of law. This constitution under Article 2 is the supreme law of our land and requires all of us to respect it. Article 3 requires that every citizen of Kenya, whether in government or not, has the duty to defend, to protect, and to respect our constitution. So that is why we're here today to reflect on that journey. I am honored to have been the last Minister for Justice after the late Mutula Kilonzo, who was the minister during the promulgation, handed over the document to me, we had great Kenyans who are responsible for the implementation of that constitution. Amongst them, the Right Honorable uh, Attorney General Gidu, Professor Gidu Muigai, Nyachai, who was the CIC chair, Abdukadir, CIOC chair. We did our part. And now the youth of Kenya, who came out to defend their constitution, and who shed blood for this constitution. Today, we want to engage you. We know that you had said you are leaderless, you are partyless, and you are tribeless. And we respect that. 
Today we come to you not as Azimio. We come to you not as DAPK or WIPA or PNU or uh, Jubilee or, or ODM. We come to you as your fellow Kenyans who are totally, I don't know if you heard this song of Nonini. Nonini amechapa wimbo moja hapo inasema I am offended. Siju kama umesikia wimbo. DJ, siju kama umesikia wimbo. Offended by Nonini. And we know that you, the comrades, are you offended or not? You are offended, isn't it? Now here's your music too. Nonini amesema we are offended because those who died, the young people, not a single Gen Z, after reconstituting cabinet, the new government, not a single Gen Z was appointed to that government. Kweli si kweli. We know that we, the politicians, came together and we did a deal at your expense. Today we are celebrating something called the broad-based government. The majority of Kenyans, 75%, are the youth. If you, the Gen Z's, have been excluded from this government, is it broad-based? It is not because it is the rule of the minority, the rule of the majority by the minority. We who are 50, 60, 70, and 80 years old, we are the minority. You who are 20, 25, you are the majority. So these are one of the issues. I think DJ Utapata here, Wimbo Badai. I wanted to invite my colleagues, Wadio Wasalimu, so that Tuanze Kuangalia Safari Hi, Ambayo Tumekua Nayo, Yakatiba Ya Kenya. Na katiba inatiba yale yote ninyi umepigania kama majenzi mukisema mambo ya ufisadi mukisema mambo ya ukabila all the ills that you fought against if we are actually if we had fidelity to this constitution and we observed at chapter 6 of our constitution we had men and women of integrity we will not have the problem we've had here he katiba inatiba. To attack to scare from the experts today, those uh, we have here, governor who was uh, the second chair of the Council of Governors, the Honorable Peter Munya, who was also the governor of Meru, would like him to tell us from the eyes of one who was there when devolution was founded, whether we're doing well or not. We have Babu Owino, who is going to talk to us about the suffering of the students of Kenya, about the failed model. We have a new funding model, Ambayo Comrades Hamujafraia. Kweli si kweli? Nini juzi mumeitisha ile town hall mumealikwa kule. Babu amekua your champion, he was a student leader here for many years.